go over a few of the things that I personally think are a great deal at your local Dollar Tree. Now these are crafting items and these are items that I personally think that um, any crafter should not pass up if you ever go to your local Dollar Tree. Now not all Dollar Trees carry the same stuff. I don't want to hear you guys telling me, hey May, I don't have that in my Dollar Tree. Because I know, I know that we have three Dollar Trees and I can go to all three and not all three carry the same stuff. And so you'll have to check your local Dollar Trees because not all of them carry the same stuff. But you can go online and if you have a few of your friends that want to get together and place an order and because I know it's by the case, you can probably um, try to pick up a few things online. So let's get started. So what is the first thing on my list of items that whenever I go to Dollar Tree, I do not pass up? Well, you guys probably guessed it correctly. Ta ta ta, the scissors. I love these scissors. I probably have over 25 of them. Um, Young Sue got me hooked up on them. And these things are the bomb diggity, especially if you do fussy cutting. Um, these things are awesome. Now they did change the color up a little on you, but it's still the same quality. I love them. Um, they work on my laces. They also work great on paper. So these are absolutely a must have for a dollar. I'm telling you ladies, you cannot go wrong. Now I have very fat fingers um, and they work great on me and I do have really fat, fat fingers. Now, um, let's see, they're still the same. So yeah, they just, they just work great. You just want them on a tip. You don't, you know, just a tip. You don't want to stick your finger out of the way, but just a tip. And I do have fat fingers and I think they could work great. The other thing that you guys know I use quite a bit. And now whenever you see me working with Fabri-Tac, I get that rubber stuff, the gummy stuff on my hands. I tend to use it and kind of get that stuff off my hand. And I use my rubber eraser. I also use this uh, rubber eraser whenever I um, work with paper. And this is great to remove the adhesive off your paper as well. So these are a must have. And if you guys know anything about this, you know, you can go to your Hobby Lobby and you probably pay three or four dollars for these. A dollar at Dollar Tree. I kid you not. Every time I go, if I see them, I pick them up. Why? Because I have a couple of them spread out throughout my craft room because I just love them and so sometimes I pick it up I have some glue in my hands and guess what I'm grabbing it placing it grabbing another one so yeah I have several of these all over the place the other thing that I think is a great great must-have these these are craft clamps and I just came across these over the summer but I love them whenever you're putting your uh, junk journal pages and you're putting those signatures you know I love them they're so tiny and for a uh, dollar you get a pack of six you can't go wrong so again um, I grab these every time I go I just went the other day found another pack they just had one pack I snagged that because I like to use these on my projects to clamp down something when I'm working on a project. So that's a must have. The other thing that I think, now they have these in several um, places. This is in the craft section and these um, have three sizes. It's the quarter inch, the three eighth, and the half inch um, of the pop dot dimensional tape. Now they had these in the um, automotive section of Dollar Tree. But these are so great. They're absolutely a great steal for the price and they work fabulous. Sometimes I use my chipboard um, scraps to give it a dimensional effect. But you know, if you don't have chipboard, then you can use these for a dollar. You absolutely cannot go wrong. As a crafter, I think that this is a must have, okay? The other thing that I think is a must have, now they also have the Velcro. I couldn't find my Velcro pack, so but that's a must have, guys. Seriously, the Velcro pack is also a must have. These are the magical adhesive dot, you get 70, uh, 72 pieces. And what I like about these is if you have a picture you're hanging up and sometimes it goes a little bit wonky, add a little bit of that in the back and it kind of levels it out a little bit without ruining your wall, especially if you're in a rental. I don't have a rental, I don't have that problem, but 
Every now and then I have one that does not want to kind of balance out. So I just put a little back um, adhesive dot in the back and kind of level it out. Also great for ribbon when you're putting it down on a craft project, album, card, whatever it is. These are fabulous. Chalkboard tags, pack of four. These are really cute when you're decorating farmhouse decor. Um, for organizational reasons, these are really great. Um, and for a pack of four, a dollar, you really, they're only 25 cents each. Comes out to a dollar. Great steal. You can't go wrong with that. I love these. Okay, twine. Oh, I love twine and hemp and you know, I just love this stuff. Now, they have it in this, and um, this is the jute, twine, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they have a pack of three, um, like this, in the automotive section, I believe it is. The pack of three. Anyway, great steal. You can't go wrong. It lasts you forever, as, as well as this. So, if you're in your local Dollar Tree, I don't know how many yards is this, but it goes on and on and on and on and on, I'm telling you. I've been using this for a while. It just never ends. So, again, grab it. Whenever I see it, I snag it, okay? These little applicator bottles, um, I just saw them. I grabbed them. This is probably a really good steal for, you know, your glues. I have not tried it, but for uh, a dollar, a pack of two, I'm going to give it a try. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I didn't spend a whole lot. But I am going to try it, especially with my um, Fabri-Tac, because, you know, sometimes you get that seepage that comes up. So I'm going to try to see if it will work for my Fabri-Tac. Um, it is easy to squeeze. And, you know, you guys, I have arthritis on my hands, and I can't even, I can't even, I can close this one, but I can't even close that one because my hands are um, really messed up right now. But... Um, I like that they're soft on my hands, and so I'm going to give these a try. Sorry for the crinkling. And yeah, see? Oh yeah, I can handle that. I can definitely handle that. So I'm going to give it a try for the fabric pack. So again, I think personally, even if you um, use it for your other glues, it should be great. Um, I'll test it out and let you guys know. Buttons. Y'all know I love buttons. I can't pass up the opportunity to pack up or pick up buttons. So when I started to see these buttons, every time I see them, I pick them up because um, for a dollar, again, you can't go wrong. And I think they're so cute. Um, I love my vintage, my vintage buttons, but um, these are so cute. So again, these are items that you can pick up on your way out on the cash register, by the cash register. They have these for a buck. You really can't go wrong. If you're on a budget, hey, this is a great item. The other thing that I love in the makeup cosmetic section are the silicone brush and the blender brush. These are absolutely must have. If you have a hot glue gun um, or any glue, you can pat this down and kind of, you know, stick down your item that you're working on. And you guys have seen me use these, um, of course. This is the other one. Um, this is the blender brush. You can use it with your Tim Holtz Distress Ink or any of your ink pads and kind of blend in your work. Great must-have for a dollar. You really can't go wrong, okay? All right, baskets, guys. I love baskets. Um, I have tons of the Dollar Tree baskets. They just came out with these really nice ones, and I've been grabbing them every time I see them. So grab yourself these, um, and they have different colors, and they have it in black, all black. I think they had it in all blue and all white, and this one, of course. But again, the quality is great. The container store and Ikea sells these for a lot more. So for a dollar, you really can't go wrong. The other thing that I always pick up are these little baskets, a pack of two uh, for a dollar on these sizes. And now I like these because I can stack up things in here when I'm working on something um, or in my little Ikea drawers. They're just a perfect size to put in your Ikea drawers. So I pick these up and I also pick them up in these uh, little tinier ones. 
Um, because a pack of three for a buck, you can't go wrong. And again, you can kind of organize your stuff a little bit better when you have these. So those are my little favorite um, Dollar Tree finds. Let me put these because these are my usable stuff. Um, these are little things that comes in the Christmas decor section for a dollar. These things at Joann's and Hobby Lobby right now are a little pricey, so I thought this is a good steal. Um, again, I'm not one of those to go and pick up a lot of that home decor stuff because I just I just don't have a personal preference to some of that things, those kind of things, but to each their own, everyone has a personal preference. Um, but I just don't think that everything at Dollar Tree is worth purchasing at times. So just be really cautious about what you pick out. Um, not everything should be purchased. As far as craft items, these are the items that I personally think that are a great steal. Now, let me move these because I use that a lot. This is good over here. Now, the other day, I happened to stumble across these. These are ultra fine glitters. And I have not seen these before, but I like the bottles so you can reuse the bottle. But I had just bought several other kinds of glitters and they were like three or four dollars for um, a little container similar to this, maybe yeah, about the same size. Anyway, and I paid three or four dollars, May I think may, may have been four four or five, I don't know, can't remember. Anyway, they have them in seven different colors. And you can sprinkle these on your little adhesives, die cuts, and you get a nice, cute little effect on that. And I thought that was a great steal, especially since I had just picked up some and I had paid a little bit more money on that. Uh, speaking of decors, last year they had the little tiny uh, red car ornaments. It was like a pack of four, um, and I love those. I absolutely love them. This year they didn't have them, but they had these. And if you saw my little gnomes, um, Christmas gnome that I did, this is what I use. Now, of course, some of the letters are kind of peeling off, but you can go through and probably, you know, fix that up a little bit and... I'm not a fan of the glitter, but you can, you know, change up a few things that you don't like. Um, I still think that for a dollar, this little uh, decoration for the Christmas tree is a fabulous deal. Um, the other things. Now, these, I learned about these through Lisa the other day. And I'm like, hmm, because I buy the 57 cents apple barrel. Like, look at the difference. Two flow. Two flow ounces, and this one is, I don't know, it's got to be more than two flow, that's thats for sure. Oh, four ounces. So four ounces, this is 57 cents for two ounces or four ounces for a dollar. I have not yet tried it, but I did see Lisa, eclectic uh, crafter, use these. And I thought, you know what, for your gel press, um, mixed media, if you're into mixed media, this is a great steal. This is an absolutely fabulous steal. So I picked up a couple of these colors and I'm gonna give it a try with my uh, gel press because I got some really good ideas from Lisa in our little hop the other day. So they had them in the, oh, what is this color? Deep yellow. They had it in deep blue. Cobalt, 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 can't say that right, blue. Medium green. Red Oxide, ooh, I like that, isn't that pretty? And white, light green, vermilion, scarlet, and of course they had this one, which is a washable black tempera paint, but for a dollar, you still can't go wrong. And this one's a little bit bigger. I don't have my glasses, so um, I don't know. I can't see the ounces. I'm assuming this is about six, six ounces. Oh, eight ounces, my bad. Anyway, that's a good steal. Now, every now and then, they used to have the Beacon um, or the Beacon uh, spray. I didn't like that one at all, but now they have this little foam poster board adhesive. And I'm going to give it a try. I have not tried, but Fabri-Tac is made by Beacon, so... Um, 
I'm assuming it should be just as good. So I'm going to give it a try and see if it warps on my paper. Um, if not, you know, I'll go back and pick up a couple more bottles. I know that I did try the adhesive adhesive, um, spray adhesive that they had. I didn't care for it at all, but I'm going to give this one a try. Um, they did have the Mod Podge. Um, I'm saving the bottle. In the mat, I've been trying to check to see if they have that. They have that. That's a great steal also. But this here, I'm going to give it a try because I know that Beacon is a great quality brand. So I'm going to try it. But guys, these are some of my favorite finds. Now, the other thing that I found, and you guys saw this in my previous video, is these spray bottles. I love these spray bottles because um, you can use them for your mixed media or um, any project that you're working on, your hair, or whatever. I'm going to use it for my craft room, of course, because I use my spray bottles quite a bit. But um, you can also take your Cricut and put a little bit of vinyl decor on it if you want. That's up entirely up to you. But these are some of my favorite crafty finds that you can purchase at your um, Dollar Tree for very uh, cheap price. Now you guys keep seeing me use dusting off my desk because I have this habit of dusting, dusting, dusting. I love to use this to dust off my desk um, and I just kind of decorated it and also my little duster from the Dollar Tree. This is a must crafty find that you need for your craft room when you're dusting off your desk if you have that little bit of um, OCD like I do. So um, guys, Seriously, I think that these are great steals. Check out your local Dollar Tree for these items. Like I said, not everything at Dollar Tree is a great deal. I think that some things are just a little bit overrated. But when it comes to these crafty finds, I think that these are great steals. So check them out. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know in the comments below what are some of the items from Dollar Tree that you guys can't pass up whenever you guys go there. So again drop the message or the comment below let me know what you think and i'll see you guys in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel like share and if you have any questions drop it in the comment section till next time guys i hope you guys have a fabulous day stay safe god bless you all Bye bye